Welcoming Ganesha, the festival of new beginnings. This festival marks the arrival of Lord Ganesha, the beloved elephant-headed deity, into our homes and hearts. It is a time of joy, devotion, and new beginnings. Ganesh Chaturthi is a vibrant Hindu festival celebrated with great enthusiasm and fervor across India and by Hindu communities worldwide. The festival is marked by colorful decorations, lively processions, and a deep sense of spirituality. It celebrates the birth of Lord Ganesha, who is revered as the remover of obstacles and the god of wisdom, prosperity, and new beginnings. His birth is a symbol of hope and renewal. He is the elephant-headed god of wisdom and new beginnings. His unique appearance with an elephant's head on a human body symbolizes the unity of small and large, the microcosm and macrocosm, and the importance of wisdom in overcoming life's challenges. This joyous festival lasts for 10 days, during which devotees engage in various rituals and celebrations. Each day is filled with activities that honor Lord Ganesha and seek his blessings for a prosperous and obstacle-free life. It is a time for families and communities to come together, to share in the joy and devotion that this festival brings. The sense of unity and togetherness is palpable as people gather to celebrate and pray. People bring Ganesha idols into their homes, often with great ceremony and devotion. The idols are beautifully crafted and come in various sizes, each one a work of art that reflects the devotion of the Maker. They decorate their homes with lights and flowers, creating a festive and welcoming atmosphere. The decorations are not just for aesthetic pleasure, but also to honor Lord Ganesha and invite His blessings into their homes. The air is filled with devotional songs and the aroma of delicious food. Traditional sweets like modaks, which are said to be Lord Ganesha's favorite, are prepared and offered to him as a part of the rituals. It is a time for prayer, celebration and reflection. Devotees spend time in prayer, seeking the blessings of Lord Ganesha for wisdom, prosperity and the removal of obstacles in their lives. The festival is not just a time for external celebration, but also for internal reflection and spiritual growth. Understanding Ganesha, Remover of Obstacles, God of Wisdom Ganesha, also known as Ganapati and Vinayaka, is one of the most revered and beloved deities in Hinduism. His unique elephant head and human body make him easily recognizable and deeply symbolic. Ganesha is worshipped by millions of devotees around the world. During festivals like Ganesh Chaturthi, his idols are elaborately decorated with flowers, lights and offerings. Devotees gather in large numbers to offer their prayers and seek his blessings. He is known by many names such as Ganapati, Vinayaka and Vignaharta, each reflecting different aspects of his divine persona. Devotees often chant his names in hymns and prayers, invoking his presence and seeking his guidance. Ganesha is the son of Lord Shiva, the destroyer, and Goddess Parvati, the mother of the universe. His birth is celebrated with great joy and devotion, and he is considered a symbol of auspicious beginnings and the remover of all obstacles. He is worshipped as the remover of obstacles, both material and spiritual. Devotees believe that by praying to Ganesha, they can overcome challenges and achieve success in their endeavors. His blessings are sought before starting any new venture or journey. Ganesha's elephant head symbolizes wisdom, strength and intellectual prowess. It is said that his large head represents the vastness of knowledge and the ability to think big. His small eyes signify concentration and focus. His large ears signify his ability to listen to his devotees' prayers and concerns. They remind us of the importance of being attentive and receptive to others. Ganesha is always ready to lend an ear to those who seek his help. His trunk represents efficiency and adaptability. It is a versatile tool that can perform both delicate and heavy tasks, symbolizing the ability to handle various challenges with grace and precision. The trunk also signifies the importance of being flexible and adaptable in life. He is often depicted with a modak, a sweet dumpling, which represents the sweetness of the realized inner self. The modak is a symbol of the rewards of spiritual practice and the joy that comes from self-realization. Devotees offer modaks to Ganesha as a gesture of love and devotion, seeking his blessings for a sweet and fulfilling life. Auspicious timing, when to invite Ganesha home. The festival begins on the fourth day, Chaturthi of the bright half, Shukla Paksha of the Hindu month of Bhadrapada. 
This period is considered highly auspicious and is eagerly awaited by devotees across the world. The preparations for this grand festival start well in advance, with families cleaning their homes, shopping for decorations, and planning the rituals. In 2024, Ganesh Chaturthi falls on September 10th. This date is marked with great anticipation and joy. People often mark their calendars months ahead to ensure they are ready to welcome Lord Ganesha into their homes. The excitement builds up as the day approaches, with communities coming together to celebrate. The most auspicious time, Shubh Muhurat, for Ganesh Stapana, the installation of the Ganesha idol, varies each year. This timing is crucial, as it is believed to bring prosperity, happiness, and remove obstacles from one's life. The Shubh Muhurat is calculated based on various astrological factors, ensuring that the divine energy is at its peak. It is essential to consult a religious calendar or a knowledgeable priest for the precise Shubh Muhurat timings in your location. Different regions may have slight variations in the timings, and a priest can provide personalized guidance. This ensures that the rituals are performed correctly and the blessings of Lord Ganesha are fully received. This ensures that you welcome Lord Ganesha into your home during the most auspicious time. The act of bringing Ganesha home is filled with devotion and joy. Families gather together, chant prayers and perform rituals to invoke the presence of the deity. The home is decorated with flowers, lights and rangoli to create a divine atmosphere. The idol is placed in a special area and offerings of sweets, fruits and flowers are made. This sacred moment marks the beginning of a period of festivity, devotion and community bonding. Rituals and Reverence, the Heart of Ganesh Chaturthi The installation of the Ganesha idol is done with great care and reverence. The idol is placed on a raised platform and adorned with flowers and garlands. The Pran Pratishtha ceremony breathes life into the idol. Throughout the festival, devotees offer prayers, sing hymns and perform arti. They offer sweets, fruits and other delicacies to Lord Ganesha. The atmosphere is filled with devotion and joy. Section 5. City Celebrations, Mumbai, Pune and Beyond Ganesh Chaturthi is celebrated with great enthusiasm across India. However, the cities of Mumbai and Pune are particularly famous for their grand celebrations. Huge, elaborately decorated idols of Ganesha are installed in public pandals. Processions with music and dance mark the beginning and end of the festival. The Visaryan, the immersion of the idol in water, is a bittersweet occasion marked by both joy and sadness. Section 6. A Feast for Ganesha, Preparing the Perfect Bog Food is an integral part of Ganesh Chaturthi. Devotees prepare a variety of delicious dishes to offer to Lord Ganesha as bog. Modak, a sweet dumpling, is considered to be his favorite. Other popular bog items include ladus, karanji, and puranpoli. These sweets are made with love and devotion, and offering them to Ganesha is a way of expressing gratitude and seeking his blessings. Section 7. Modak Magic, the sweet delight for Lord Ganesha. Modak holds a special place in Ganesh Chaturthi celebrations. This sweet dumpling is believed to be Lord Ganesha's favorite. It is said that offering Modak to Ganesha brings happiness and prosperity. Modak is made from rice flour or wheat flour filled with a sweet mixture of jaggery and coconut. It can be steamed, fried or made in various shapes and sizes. Section 8. Beyond the Rituals the cultural tapestry of Ganesh Chaturthi. Ganesh Chaturthi is more than just a religious festival. It is a time for cultural expression, community bonding, and artistic display. The making of Ganesha idols is an art form in itself. The pandals are often decorated with intricate themes depicting stories from mythology or addressing social issues. The festival brings people together, fostering a sense of unity and shared identity. Section 9, Environmental Echoes, Celebrating Responsibly In recent years, there has been a growing awareness of the environmental impact of Ganesh Chaturthi. The immersion of plaster of Paris idols in water bodies can be harmful to aquatic life. Many people are now opting for eco-friendly Ganesha idols made from clay or other biodegradable materials. This ensures that the festival is celebrated in a way that is both joyous and responsible. Section 10. Ganesha's Blessings, Carrying the Spirit Forward 
As the festival comes to an end with the Visajan ceremony, devotees bid farewell to Lord Ganesha with a heavy heart. However, the spirit of Ganesh Chaturthi lingers on. The lessons of wisdom, new beginnings, and the importance of removing obstacles from our lives stay with us. Ganesha's blessings continue to guide us throughout the year, reminding us to face challenges with courage,